my learners welcome to the video in today's class we will be discussing the revolutions which took place in europe from 1830 to 1848 in the last video we had learned about the revolutionaries and their new ideas for the new europe after the treaty of vienna let us take a look at the topics that we will be discussing when did the first revolution take place describe the greek war of independence who participated in these revolutions the treaty of vienna promoted a monarchy rule where people weren't left with much freedom this led to the creation of underground societies formed by revolutionaries the creation of conservation regimes to ensure that the new rules were being followed this led to the increase in the revolutions in many regions of europe such as the italian and german states the provinces of the ottoman empire ireland and poland these revolutions were associated with feelings of liberalism and nationalism students we have been talking about revolutions so can you tell me who were these people participating in them the liberal nationalists belonged to the educated middle class elite among whom were professors school teachers clerks members of commercial middle classes In July 1830 the first disruption happened in France. A small recap from the previous video. When the Treaty of Vienna was drawn, the Bourbon dynasty was restored to power in France, but now they were being overthrown by the liberal revolutionaries who ended up installing a constitutional monarchy with Louis Philippe at its head. It was said by the Austrian Chancellor Duke Metternich that when France sneezed the rest of the Europe got cold by this he meant that once the july revolution in france happened it spread like wildfire to other cities as well after the july revolution in france there was one in brussels which led to the belgium breaking away from the united kingdom of the netherlands even after so many changes many elite groups were still supporting the conservatives but the revolution which they impacted the nationalist feelings amongst the educational elite population of europe was the greek war of independence let us know more about this war greece had been part of the ottoman empire since the 15th century with an increase of the revolutionary nationalism in europe is also influenced the greeks to initiate the struggle of independence in 1821 students can you tell me who supported them in the fight for independence greek nationalists got support from other greeks who were living in exile and also from many west europeans who had sympathies for the ancient greek culture poets and artists praised greece as the cradle of european civilization and mobilized the public's opinion to support their struggle against a muslim empire an important role was played by the english poet lord byron who organized funds and then later went to fight in the war finally the treaty of constantinople of 1832 recognized greece as an independent nation this was all about the revolutions which took place in europe from 1830 to 1848 students i hope you are enjoying learning with us please provide us with your valuable feedback in the comment section in the next video we will study romanticism and nationalism in europe till then stay healthy and keep learning